Hello everyone, I am Manny and today I'm bringing you a little commentary with this uh, time-lapse speed paint of a painting I did on the iPad a long time ago back when it took me several weeks to maybe months to finish a painting. I don't use the iPad anymore because it strains my hand too much so I moved over to PC my laptop using a, a plain like pen tablet on there and it's done wonders for my hands so I don't think I'll be going back to the iPad until I can I mean if I can find a way to make it work then absolutely because I did love the convenience of the iPad uh, speaking specifically about this painting, it is a fan art of the film Leon the Professional, which is a, a movie that, uh, I, if I remember correctly, my dad introduced me to. This painting was made exclusively using the Procreate Turpentine brush, no fancy settings, just straight out the box, and I started by establishing a solid uh, rough proportions foundation for the kind of composition that I wanted. And I'm going to have a lot of trouble um, roughly mapping out Matilda's face because since it is slightly tilted, it can be very difficult to make the face seem natural from that angle using only very thick painterly lines. But I eventually realize she doesn't have to look like Matilda because I'm just laying out the foundation so I just drew a very generic face on a separate layer and then merged it down and as you can see that worked well enough so that I was able to move on and start uh, painting out Leon's face. I didn't have a specific method for painting I just established a base of color and then just paint it on top of that, usually hyper-focusing on very uh, small details, which is a no-no. You want to go from big shapes to small shapes to little details. But I get so carried away with the little details because I have this thing where I it needs to look good every step of the way, which of course is illogical because it's normal for a painting to look bad. It doesn't matter how it looks until it's finished, but a part of me just wants to be able to look at it at any point and feel pleased with it. That's something I definitely need to work on. Uh, so painting uh, Leon's face was a bit of a tricky proposition because he is tilting his head slightly upwards. So getting, uh, making it look good, given the fact that you can see the bottom of his chin, uh, can be extremely tricky. But thankfully there was a big shadow shape in the reference picture I used because I am copying reference pictures for this. I can't uh, pull this stuff out of my imagination, at least not at this particular point in time. So thankfully the shadow shape under his chin allowed me to uh, naturally transition from the base of his neck to his head without having that distracting uh, flab that goes under the jaw, uh, get in the way of the viewer's eye focusing on the thing I want them to focus, which is on Leon's face. Moving on to Matilda, I start flatting out the entire body because if I remember correctly at this point, I said, okay, I need to lay out the flats and stop it with the excessive detailing before I even have a base to work on. So I chose the colors very carefully and I'm not color picking the reference. These are colors that I choose depending on what I feel serves the painting the best. Going back to Leon's face, I detailed the stubble and the a uh, few hairs on the on his jaw. 
and moving back to Matilda, I get the eyes in there. So I at least have a rough idea of where to place all the elements. And since her face was lit uh, very brightly, I was able to use that very, very light yellowish uh, vanilla color to map out her facial structure. But when you're looking at it from afar, it does just look like a pale pale face but if you zoom in you can see that there are a lot of little transitions and uh, details that you wouldn't appreciate if you just skimmed over the image on social media which i don't know if i could call that a strength of my art but if you do zoom in you will notice that i <coughs> apologies that I do put a lot more effort than most of the people who see my art will ever really realize from just looking at it. And one good thing about my method is that once I do establish all the colors in a certain part of the body, I can usually color pick or reference those colors as I move forward with the rest of the body. If you look closely at the part of her torso that is exposed, a lot of those colors are already on the face and I'm just tweaking here and there to make it seem like it's a bit farther away and lost in shadow. Looking at the way I drew the gun, uh, I'm not particularly pleased with how the gun came out. The problem was that in the picture I used as reference, the gun was in perspective. So I, not having much of a clear idea on the actual structure of the gun in question, I just painted what I saw as best as I could. As for the background elements, this is a carryover from my very first Procreate painting where I needed something to fill the background and I just came up with this, I experimented and I came up with this idea of having uh, this spiraling painterly uh, design and I just carried that over to all my Procreate paintings because I just liked how it looked. And one more thing, if you look closely, you can see that they're not perfectly circular uh, aligned with the background. So I have to redo them so it looks a bit more natural and flowing. And I take each of the colors of the three main like circle designs in the background and I just add that onto the circles on the outside rim to make it seem like a soft transition when in reality it's just a bunch of uh, brush strokes giving the illusion of a soft transition. Getting back to the painting, the shirt on Matilda actually wasn't very difficult because there wasn't a lot of definition in the picture, so I just used the lines going across to indicate the way it folds and bends according to the shape of her body. As for the bunny, um, that was actually a lot of fun to do because if you zoom in, you can see that I just went ham adding tons of little uh, dots and uh, spots of dirt because it was dirty in the picture. And <clears throat> here we're getting close to the end. I just basically established all the little plane changes and soft transitions on her legs. As for the socks, the socks had a blue army stripe pattern. So I just did that very quickly. Didn't take too much uh, effort or time. At this point, I'm basically rushing because I can see the end in sight and I probably shouldn't. I should give it a few days to sort of marinate in my head so I can come back and fix some things that I haven't noticed before. But as I said, uh, I'm, a, I'm very impatient at this point in the process. So basic black shape for the boots and we are finished. Uh, I'd like to thank you for sticking around and watching and I hope to see you in the next video.